I'm going to demonstrate now using Linear Technology Corporation switcher card number three. We will create a top level schematic overall. It will be a doubly terminated much pity ohm 1 dB 6 order elliptic filter we will turn we will load that with a 1k ohm resistance and introduce a 1 volt amplitude AC signal and we like to see the frequency response of the filter. Our perp main purpose is to use our own custom symbol, two of them. One symbol is pointing to a sub-circuit text listing. Another top level circuit with using symbol not only pointing to each own symbol but it is also pointing to the embedded LC lossless doubly much terminated elliptic filter. Now during the course of real simulation when we see this icon appearing on the corner, upper corner of the screen, that represents you looking at the symbol. If you see this transistor, that represents a schematic. And after you simulate, you will see some waveform. You will see this icon tag along with that screen. So the, our first example, top label schematic, is this custom symbol that has one input, one output with the designators in and out. We name the symbol ELT. We will create that, point it to a text file sub-circuit that we're going to include, the name of which is ELC.sub. We will load this filter with a 1K ohm load and connect that with generator whose series source impedance is 0.5 ohm. We will introduce a, a sinusoid of one volt amplitude and we will do a AC or frequency response analysis with 100 point per decade and display the phase and amplitude in decibel from 100 hertz to 100 kilohertz. This is the symbol that we just saw a while ago that we're going to create. And this is the comment I just made a while ago. This is the actual sub-circuit that defined the to be included. In the spice we should have a period sub-circuit, the name, the port in-out, and that end of the sub-circuit. Using the reference written by, textbook written by Professor Hulsman, published by McGraw-Hill, we will be able to extract from his appendix the normalized prototype one decibel six order Elliptic low pass. The termination is 1 ohm on both sides. While the inductor capacitor lossless internally are somewhat close to one unit value. One Henry, one Farad, close to it. Which is not practical. So we like to raise the 1 ohm load or source to pit ohm. So our input are in R1 at ter port in to internal node 2 is now 50 ohm and the load 1 ohm connected 
from the node out to ground become one ohm also. So we need an impedance scaling, we call it KZ050, and our LC, to make it practical, we like to raise the frequency from each original 1.1 radian per second by introducing a frequency scaling of 2 pi desired value, 10 kilohertz, and that ratio produces a scaling factor of 57,120. We put this impedance and scaling to the required formula to convert L and C to its denormalized value. Here is the outcome. And when this is executed, that's the frequency response. The solid line is the amplitude frequency response, and this dotted line is the phase angle response. We will do this in actual real time later on. The other circuit we're going to have is somewhat similar, with exception here there is no need to include the sub-circuit. The reason is this symbol, another symbol, is pointing to the schematic. So we will see that later on. That is the symbol, and this is the frequency response. Let us actually do it. So let us open up our switcher card number three. So let us open up our switcher card number three, the elliptic LP. This is the symbol that we just discussed. Notice, to call the name of the sub-circuit, which is ELC, we got to put this value right here. Got to enter that. And here you can see the symbol that goes with that. That is the one, the one in blue in, uh, in uh, uh, yellow. Now let us open up the, I like to remove this symbol to conserve space, limited space. Over here, as we said a while ago, this is including, include the ELC that sub, and this is the AC analysis that we just discussed a while ago. We might as well just execute it. You divide the screen into two halves. The one that is active is the window with a blue frame. Now I move my crosshair to the alt node. I click that. That is the frequency response. Let us close both of these. Open up the other example where the symbol is pointing to the schematic. Notice down here there is no include. The reason is, it is available here if you click this, right there. So this is the one that is encapsulated inside the symbol. Let us open up our symbol. That's the one. So we have three items here, the symbol, the schematic it is pointing to, and the top level. We will use the same AC analysis. Let us execute. It divides the screen into four segments because we have opened up those and including this simulation window. Go to the top level schematic, probe the output, you got the response. We did not demo how to exactly create the schematic or symbols. Now let's do that. Now let us demo. For convenience, I will use rectangular symbol like we did. Go to edit, edit pin. Do the one on the left like we did, call it in port. Move that to the left, left click. Go back to edit, add pin, this time on the right, which we will associate to the output. Like that. We can also add some the label, draw, text, and put the label on the top of the symbol. Why not use E? 
Don't see it like we did.